The root inspection algorithm allows us to find a root which goes along every edge at least once. We can find the minimum root to do so. Our first stage is to identify which vertices are odd. So I've indicated in green the order of each of the different vertices. We have four vertices that have odd order, namely A, D, E and G. We need to consider the possible pairings of each of those vertices. We can put A with D and E with G. We can put A with E and D with G. Or we can put A with G and D with E. These are the only pairings that are possible. Next we look to find the shortest possible route between each of those pairings. So for our first pairing AD and EG, what we're looking for is the shortest way to get from A to D and also to get from E to G. Now when you're doing this you've got to be very careful to ensure that you have found the shortest possible route. There can often be multiple ways of getting from one vertex to another and you must make sure that you have considered all of them. For the first pairing we have ACD is our shortest route at 15 and EBCG is our shortest with 24. With that EBCG one obviously we've had to consider two additional vertices in that route which is an indication of when it can be quite tricky to make sure you have found the minimum route between two vertices. For AE and DG we can go ABE and then just straight from D to G that is our shortest possible route for those and for AG and DE we simply have those edges A to G is 20 and D to E is 18. So we have our three possible totals for the different pairings and we look to find which one of those is the shortest. So the shortest root pairing is AE and DG with a total of 25. This means that we need to add additional edges into our graph that replicate those shortest roots. So to get from A to E we went A to B and B to E and to get from D to G we simply went D to G. So we've added each of those in. Now if we want to know the total distance for a root that goes along all of the edges that are currently on the graph, all we need to do is add up all of those weights. We will be able to construct a path that goes along each of those edges once and once only on our new modified graph. So in this case we have 201. When you're doing a question in an exam you may find that they give the total weight of the graph before you've added any additional edges so then all you would need to do is take that number that they've calculated for you and add the 25 in this particular case. At this point you may wish to construct a route that goes through all of these. An exam question may specify where you start otherwise you can start at any point. We're going to start for our example route at A. What I will do is I will colour in each of the edges as we go along them so that you can see that all have been used. If you are doing this yourself you may wish to put a mark on each of the edges or scribble along each one so that you know you've covered it so that you don't double up in any way. You can choose your route pretty much however you want as long as you make sure that you don't cut yourself off. For example we somehow managed to go along all of the edges of the top half of the graph missing one or two of them out then going on to the bottom half of the graph with no route back up to the top we would have a problem. So as you're doing it just make sure you leave yourself the option to go back and ensure that you've covered all of those routes. So I'm going to go A to B then I'm going to go from B back to A again up to C then to G to D to C again to B to E to D to G, to A, back to D, then to F, on to E, back up to B, down to F, and I've gone back to A again. So I've got a route that has gone along all of the edges. I've only given one example of a route, there will be many, many others. So the route inspection algorithm is quite simple to use. A couple of calculations, making sure that you have found the shortest route and that's where most people have a difficulty with this algorithm and then remembering to replicate all of the appropriate edges so that you've got an Eulerian graph. But that's all there is to it. Good luck with using the root inspection algorithm. Mm -hmm.